you talk about the transformation and you talk about with a change. Mm-hmm. Parents, whether it's the both parents or a single parents, if you realize that things have been going wrong and mm-hmm. you don't really want the best for, for your children, mm-hmm. is it possible to change? Also, using this uh, theory of personal development, you know, mm-hmm. looking onto yourself, saying that, yes, I can be better. And then as actually challenging yourself and saying from today, mm-hmm. now that I know, my, this is not how I want to bring up my child. And I want the best for my child. So I can be the first example for my child. Maybe mm-hmm. what can I do? I have seen people. I've seen people. Let me say this here. Um, you know this lady, um, Promise Bond? I don't know if you know her. She, she's in, she's um, into video production here. Mm-hmm. She's a comedian. I know in Ireland here. You know, um, I remember early 2005, 2006, or thereabout, mm-hmm. she had an African shop. And that was where she used to sell. Okay. Towards 2009 or thereabout, she was telling me that she was going to school. She, she was learning things about media and all. Mm-hmm. But today, from his born, actually produces different kind of videos. She goes mm-hmm. to event video the, um, uh, do work for people pictures and videos mm-hmm. get paid mm-hmm. the comedian she she record herself and edit it herself mm-hmm. all this she learned here in ireland yeah, yeah absolutely she children she has about four or five children mm-hmm. it, that, that's when you what you're talking about personal development setting a goal for yourself and realizing mm-hmm. that the social yeah. in life is what mm-hmm. you decided that you want to have. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Yeah. You have a goal. And people might not know who Promise Bond was um, some few years ago, that she was just a woman with her children running an African shop in Droida. Mm-hmm. Today, she has become a media personality. Fantastic. And most of our parents in the quest to change their children's life not do that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. You see, um, what I tell people is that our children don't uh, just learn from what you say. They also learn from what you do. They probably learn more from what you do. And one of the things that I, when I started to um, go in to train as a financial um, advisor, and um, I set a goal for myself, and I set a goal for 100% that I, I will go into that exam and score 100%. So I didn't score 100%, but I scored 90%, 92%. And I showed them the result. And uh, my children were like, wow, mom, how did you do it? This is a 40% pass mark, um, you know, course. And a lot of people in the banks, um, they, they were held back. They, they weren't passing the same one. So, but I, I set the goal for 100%, but I got 90 something percent and I said to them, you set the goal for yourself. Set it very, very hard. And even if you don't get the 100%, at least you will get the 90%. But don't start with saying because they said pass mark is 40. Then you now said, I just want to pass. Don't just pass. Shine. And that is it. And we can encourage them. I'm from there. You know, I saw all of them started challenging themselves. And then my son, you know, he challenged himself. And he was the first, the best, one of the third burst in his, uh, in his class with the first class. And then my daughter just said, I'm going to challenge myself. And I encourage them all the time. I remember um, one time and I shared the story sometimes. My daughter came back um, from school and said, mom, I never got any gift in school before. Um, not that I'm not good enough. But maybe I'm just not good enough. Like I'm not just among the top. And I said to her that you still have an opportunity with your living search to do that. She said, well, but I need to get about 500 to do that. And I said, yeah, then you can do it. And then we started working on it. And I told her, okay, we're going to set the goal. What do you need to do that? Um, um, do you need an extra teacher? Do you need that? And then and we set the goal together. And by the time she went in, she got 540 points, not even the 500. And she was among the best people and she got went back to school and her name was on the list of the best 10 students or so um that finished in our school so and that is the way you do it 
you encourage them with everything. You let them know that they can do it, that the others are not better than them.